Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming RC238 and the just released 237 for the Odroid Go Ultra. There's been a lot of changes, so I wanted to go over things and everything and talk to people. The first one is that the options menu and tools menu have been separated. So you got your file manager, port master, retro run linker, theme master. And this OGU info here is in tools. This thing here, it will show you information about your CPU, GPU, battery. Um, it was made by a user on the Odroid forums for us, and their name and information will be in the change log and in the release post. Options here we got Bluetooth, change password, hotspot. This here is for American Laser Games. You put your Hipsus Singe games into the ALG folder and then run this and it'll create dummy files to launch them. This fixed permissions. Everyone knows what that is. OTA updates have been restored. There's not currently an update, so there's nothing to... I mean, I'll show you anyways, but... I've modified the script so that it will automatically correct permissions upon exiting when you install the zip. This way you don't have to remember to run fixed permissions like before every time you do something. So here, it's going to install the zip. It's tiny zip. It's going to install it. It's going to fix permissions and then it's going to reboot. Like so. Now we just got to give it a minute to restart. Which actually brings me to my next point. The reset function has been fixed at kernel level by hard kernel, and Stephen Michaels from our team has rebuilt the kernel along with port master and theme master to work on the OGU. There's also a side project going on to give the OGU controller its own unique ID, separating it from the Odroid Go family and making it its own unique thing. So... Now we're back here. Another change here is when you actually run a script now, regardless of what it is, it's going to tell you on the screen what it's doing. Although the camera decided to autofocus and get blurry there. Let's see if I can... There we go. So whenever you run a script to do a task, it will tell you what it's doing. The boot INI has been replaced, and what that will do is it will scale the cores to matching frequencies. What happens sometimes if you're playing a more demanding system or something crashes or messes up on you, is that the, the cores keep running at the high frequency instead of dropping down, and that just eats through your battery life. That was a, a fixed by Afro Toast. Nextly, we fixed the... People were complaining that there was an issue with the open bore config where certain only certain games had controls and others didn't. It's because the uh, the default config was missing, so only games that I've actually played before were working. That's been corrected now as well. Bottom left is your start button. I will have to make another modification to the script to clear the screen, obviously, as you can see in the background. So, a lot of the changes that have been going on recently have happened because of the fact that Or not because of the fact that, sorry, I got distracted looking at something that I wrote down. It's, it's because a lot of the stuff is due to the scripting and the underlying way that things work. That's done intentionally. I'll just install it again, whatever. That's been done intentionally to add usability to it and make things look nicer. Uh, the, the overall global change log for 236 and 237, updated kernel, restore theme master and port master, Add Magnavox Odyssey, add Mega Drive MSU, restore GameCube to emulation, uh, fix the RetroArch button layout, add user submissions from the forums to the ES Systems config, 
update the underlying Ubuntu libraries to the latest versions. Add American Laser Games, add OpenBore, add Hipsus, fix the OTA updater, fix scripts for permissions and linker to display text and tell you what they're doing on the display, separate system from tools, add the app to display battery temp and CPU GPU info, fix the boot INI for the core scaling, modify the OTA to auto fix permissions and reboot instead of restarting emulation station to clear the console screen and fix the open bore config. I expect to release 238 maybe tomorrow or the next day. This is a preview video of what the changes are and I wanted to talk about it more in detail because the last video I did, I recorded it while the baby was asleep and right near me so I couldn't really talk very loud or go too too, too, too much into detail. Now I'm in a different room by myself and I can talk as loud as I want. So we're up to about 107 different systems on here. GameCube obviously is a mixed bag. Things run better when they're 30 FPS and using some of the uh, speed up hacks obviously because it's Linux and we have no Vulkan. But generally speaking, the build I think is coming along rather nicely. It's got most of the stuff that I want. There's still a few things that I do have left to do and a few quality of life improvement changes I want to make. I'm going to try to hotkey the battery stuff so you can just press a couple buttons and it'll display the battery temp in emulation station. When you're running RetroArch, you just open the RetroArch menu and it will tell you how much battery you have left. So it's not so relevant inside of RetroArch. But as you can see, there are quite a lot of systems here. All of these are tested and working. I'm not going to sit here and play them because this isn't... Uh, that kind of video. It's just an overview as to the changes that are coming and what we're working on. One of the main things about this build that I think that people will like is the restoration of the OTA updates. And the reason I feel that way is because once the OTA updater is back, you don't have to reflash your internal storage very often anymore, if at all, only for major changes. You simply just download the zip, it auto installs, it reboots, and then you're good to go. So that's about it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.